low hundreds tomorrow for the daytime high. OK, now that we've seen the seven day forecast, look how beautiful it is in Yosemite. You probably recognize that view. I show that a lot on this newscast, and I say that that view is being furnished by the Yosemite Conservancy. Well, today I just happen to have sitting next to me Gretchen Raker from the Yosemite Conservancy. You've got the badge yes, on your sweater there. Really nice. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the Yosem Yosemite Conservancy, first of all, so people understand the organization. So the Conservancy is the primary nonprofit organization that works with the National Park Service to provide funding for a lot of the restoration work in the park. We also offer in-park programs that people can participate in. It's right. a really wonderful partnership. So the work that needs to get done in the park, whether it's a trail restoration, uh, a view overlook, or something special like that, if we don't have enough funds to get it done the right way, the Yosemite Conservancy is that organization where everybody like you and me can then donate money to you. You then give it to the park to say, now you can get that work done. Exactly. So there's a big project that you guys are working on this summer, and we've got an image of it behind me here. It says, the restoration of Mariposa Grove. If you've ever been to Yosemite, or if you haven't been to Yosemite, let me show you what the Mariposa Grove looks like. It's one of the bigger attractions in the park. In fact, this was one of the first things when President Lincoln stepped in and said, we got to save this place for future generations. The Mariposa Grove, along with the valley, those were the two things that got saved. So tell me a little bit about the Grove, and then I want to talk about the work you guys are doing there. So the grove is home to about 500 mature giant sequoias and then lots of younger seedlings and saplings. These trees are amazing. They're almost prehistoric. They can be up to 300 feet tall, 30 feet in diameter, which is like several cars, if you can picture that. Um, and they can grow for as many as 3,000 years. The oldest tree in the grove is only 1,800 years old, so that's like middle-aged. A very unique aspect to Yosemite and California in general. You only find giant sequoias here in California right. in the Sierra. Yosemite is one of the best places to go see preserved groves of them. The Mariposa Grove is the best example of that. The Mariposa Grove, you know, was kind of like, like much of the National Park. You could drive right into it. In fact, we had a parking lot right in the middle of it for years. And you could get on a tram and take a tram tour through the park. Let's go to the next video. And now, Gretchen, I want you to tell me what you guys are doing, because the Mariposa Grove is going to be closed this summer. Right. Um, it, it is closed right now. And we're working on this project in partnership with the National Park Service. They're doing such a terrific job. Um, thanks to our donors, we've been able to provide about $20 million toward this huge restoration project, which is really all about protecting the trees and making sure they're around for another 100, 200,000 years. Um, a lot of that has to do with restoring the habitat that the trees need to to thrive. Um, so pulling out a lot of the pavement that was sort of compacting the soil and damaging the root systems and reestablishing the water flow so that these trees can get the water that they really need yeah, to Yeah, it's a really important lesson on this. The roots on these trees are really shallow. So the right. roads we put in there and the parking lots that had been there for decades and decades were hampering the growth of the trees and limiting the natural progression in the grove. You guys are now helping provide the Park Service with the funds to remove those things. After this summer, sometime next summer, we're all going to be able to get back into the grove and you'll park outside the grove and then we'll be shuttled in. Exactly, yes. Okay. The, the new parking area is up down at the south entrance and during the peak season there will be a shuttle that brings you right up and into the trees. Great, doing the great work for Yosemite Thank and you so providing much. those beauty shots that I share so often here. Gretchen, thanks for coming all the way down. Guys, back to you. All right, Darren. Thank, Thank you. Darren. you. And just